Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how you can configure System Manager and Session Manager 6.2 to alarm to a cell gateway using SNMP v3. Let's go over a few key points before we begin. System Manager and Session Manager 6.2 serviceability agents must be configured to send SNMP v3 traps to your cell gateway. The cell gateway must also be configured to process your device's SNMP v3 traps. The supported cell gateways are standalone versions 2.0 and 2.1 and system platform version 2.1. All serviceability agent configuration is now performed using the System Manager 6.2 web interface. Configuration directly in System Manager or the Session Manager CLI is no longer required. Product IDs no longer need to be defined in System Manager or Session Manager but only in the cell gateway managed element configuration. NMS configuration from the command line has also been removed and replaced with the target profiles administration in the System Manager web user interface. And finally, here's a summary of steps required to accomplish this task. First, we'll create an SNMP v3 user. We'll then create a target profile and associate this user with that profile. After that, we'll assign the target profile to your System Manager and Session Manager serviceability agents. Let's begin by logging into our System Manager with the admin user account or any account that has admin level privileges. I'll go ahead and provide my credentials, then press log on. From here, under elements, we're going to want to click on inventory. Next, on the left navigation pane, let's go ahead and expand manage serviceability agents. Let's first click on serviceability agents to make sure that they are in fact active. And as you can see here, I have two session managers and one system manager, which both show active. Now that that's been validated, we'll create our user by clicking on SNMP v3 user profiles. We'll need to click on new. Now here we'll provide all of our user details. We'll begin by first providing a username. We'll select an authentication protocol. We can choose between MD5 and SHA. We'll then provide the authentication password. We'll go ahead and confirm that password. Next, we'll choose our privacy protocol. We can select AES, DES, or none. And again, we'll provide the privacy password here. We'll confirm it one more time. Now we'll need to set our privileges. Now because this user will only generate traps, it does not require read-write privileges. So I'll go ahead and set it to none. After doing that, I'll go ahead and press commit. And as you can see, our user is now listed below. The next step is to create our target profile. So we'll do that by clicking on SNMP target profiles. We'll then click on new. Now here's where we're going to provide all of the details for our cell gateway. We'll begin by entering a name. We'll then provide a description for this gateway. Next, we'll provide the IP address of the cell gateway. We'll set the port to 162. We'll choose our notification type. And we'll want to make sure that the protocol is v3. Now what we need to do is attach the user that we've created. We'll click on the Attach Detach User Profile tab above. And as you can see, there is our user listed below. We'll go ahead and click on that checkbox. We'll then click on Assign. Now in case you made a mistake, you can expand removable profiles and remove the user. Now because we know we have the right user, we'll go ahead and press commit. And as you can see, we now have our cell gateway profile listed below. Okay, now that we've created our user and our target profile, the final step is to assign this to our serviceability agents. Let's click on serviceability agents. Next we'll select the agents that we want to assign this to. Now because I want to assign this to both my system manager and my two session managers, I'll click on the box above. I'll then click on manage profiles. Next, under the SNMP target profiles tab, we'll click on that. And you can see here, we have our cell gateway listed. We'll want to go ahead and click the checkbox there. We'll then press assign. Now if you've made a mistake, you can remove this profile by expanding removable profiles. 
Now it's important here too that you do not assign the v3 user that you created earlier as that user is already attached to the profile. The user tab here is if you want to assign a separate user for your agent, say for example a user with read write privileges for using SNMP get set operations from an external NMS. So moving on, we'll go ahead and press commit to push down these changes to our serviceability agents. Your system manager and session manager are now configured to send SNMP v3 traps to your cell gateway. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.